Greetings, YouTube viewers. I'm Thor God of Thunder 815, aka Thor Wilkins. I am back with Pocket Mirror Episode 7. In the last episode, we left off being chased through a mirror maze and ended up encountering a new character by the name of Hawk. <laughs> really? This little boy is a pain in the ass. Okay, where was I? We ended up going through episode 6, where we encountered some creepy girl through a mirror, ended up getting chased, and meeting a new character by the name of Harpy. However, things are not as what they seem, as we are now stuck inside the hallway leading through a step puzzle that we have yet to solve. So here we go. We're going to get started with episode 7. <sighs> Wait. I loaded the wrong profile. Okay. So apparently we got to do a puzzle of some sort. And it'll lead us through whatever the hell this is so we don't die. <laughs> Oh, 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 don't. God damn it. Okay, do not go up. We go up, we die. Whoa. Mother fuck. Oh my god. Okay. I've actually counted the steps. Six, seven, eight. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hello? <laughs> what the fuck do I do? Uh, son of a bitch. Okay. Four, five, six, seven. Stop. One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait till the door shuts. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop. Stop. One, two, three, four. There's something under the rug. What? Is this it? Rusty key. Get the key. Come on. Go back to the door. Go back to the door. I didn't need to look up the walkthroughs for that one. I got your key. Open the door. Who are you? Hello? Nothing? There's nothing in here. What the hell? What? What? That's hurting my ears! 
What the fuck? What? What the fuck just said? Uh, uh. What the hell? Oh, I'm gonna rip my hair out of my motherfuck. But apparently, I went in the room and died anyway. <clears throat> Gotta do this all over again. Oh my god, what the fuck was that? What the hell am I? How did I do it before? I did it exactly the same fucking way! <laughs> it's eight up. One, two, three, four, five, six. Stop when you hear the bell ring. Something under the rug. And then run back to... What the... Okay. Eight up, stop when the bird calls, one left, dog will bark, six up, then freeze until the dog growls, six up again, stop when you hear the bell. Three right, wait until the door shuts and the bell rings, then two right. I went way too quick, so... Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ah! One, one, two, three, four, five, six. Stop. Wait till the dog growls. Wait till the door shuts. Oh my god! No, that tricked me. No, fuck. Okay. I just. Patience is a virtue. Now go back to the room. Now I'm not supposed to stay in this room for very long. Okay. I'll get a good ending if I stay, or good ending. I'll get a game over if I stay too long. Grab whatever it is under the picture. Run, run! Okay, fuck this. I'm gonna go save. There was a picture there too. Hi! What is this? The hell was that? I'm saving. I am saving. I'm done with this shit. Saving it there. Okay, you know what? <sighs> now there's more light in here. Okay, I'm putting my phone down. Okay, I got another wax record. I'm gonna go listen to that one. Go listen to the phonograph. Wax record two of five. <laughs> oh, Elise. Elise, Elise, Elise. 
You really did think you could fool me, didn't you? Or not, my dear Elise. For all your unfaithful patrons have let the deed in due time the golden agreement to be off and off and out, wouldn't you? <laughs> this voice. I don't know it. They got some good laughter in here though. Okay. There's more light in here now. So can I go this way? Yes. Oh. Pumpkin charm. Are you sure this will be all right? Of course, my love, you are safe here. There is no need for you to worry. What about your family? That's a different matter. It has nothing to do with us, my dear. What about your daughter? What about her? Won't she suffer from this? I will be sure to take care of that issue soon. Now hush, my dear. Let us not worry about the future. Such an unpleasant conversation. There are people in there. Okay. That's what rooms are for. Painting of a boy attempted to escape a horned demon. Okay. What the hell? Oh, shit. I thought it was a game over. Torn chandelier rest shattered on the floor. Candles are strewn about. Okay. Do I leave? Do I leave? I should save again, shouldn't I? What? Fucking cat. Okay. How dare you disobey me? What have I told you about leaving the room during the night? I'm sorry, father. Whoa! This is the last time you will ever disobey me. Now get in your room and do not dare come out until I tell you. You understand? Yes, father. Poor girl. Broken wine bottle. What do you want, kitty? Hello? Kitty. Kitty. Go away. Come on. Shoot. Shoot. Pumpkin charm. Okay. Okay. I thought I could have. I, I thought I could grab the candle. Second floor. Harpy, is that you? Where have you been, Harpy? I. I've been looking everywhere for you. I'm sorry. Damn fly! I just. I heard a strange noise while you were gone. A strange noise. Yes. You didn't hear it? Yeah, it was the painful screams of me dying several fucking times. No, I haven't heard it. More importantly, are you all right, miss? Did you get hurt somewhere? Everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, you're a liar. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> I'm all right. Okay, stop lying. That's a relief. However, you shouldn't go around by yourself. Do you understand? I... No buts, miss. This mansion can be very dangerous. It is very old. You can get hurt if you wander around carelessly. I'm sorry, Harpy. <laughs> it's all right, miss. I'm just glad you're safe and sound. I'm sorry, Harpy. I was just worried about you. Worried about me? Because that sound was so loud. And since you're... I'm... Oh, no, it's nothing. I just thought you could have gotten hurt. <laughs> There's no need to worry about me, miss. But thank you. Come now, let us get inside at once. I'm sure you're feeling tired. <laughs> Give me your hand so you just just so you don't get lost. 
Last time I gave somebody my hand, they cut it off and hand it back to me. Egglet. Harpy, I can't. Harpy? Yes? Why is it so dark in here? Oh, I'm sorry, miss. There are no lights in this corridor and it's gotten pretty dark. I know the way. There's nothing to worry about. I see. All right. You no, know, she could just stab me in the back of my head right now. We're here, miss. Are you feeling all right, miss? My head hurts. You must be tired. <laughs> yes. It'll pass. Don't worry, Harpy. Please tell me if it doesn't, I can make you some tea. Thank you, Harpy. Come, let's sit. <laughs> it's best if we talk while sitting down. Where were you all this time, miss? Oh, I, uh... You've constantly lied through the fucking game. You've lied about everything so far. Uh... You know what? No. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna make you an honest girl for the rest of this game. Tell the truth. I went to the floor above one, the one we were in. The noise seemed to come from above, so you shouldn't have gone there, miss. I... No, it's all right. I'm not upset. I was just worried about you. You don't need to make such an expression, miss. I'm sorry, Harpy. No, I'm sorry for taking so long to come back. Anyway, where are we? Oh, this is a simple reception room. Ah, I see. I'm so glad you're safe, my girl. Even so, you do look a bit bewildered. I just like to ask you something, Harpy. Please go ahead. Are you the only person in this house? What do you mean? Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. I don't mean to scare you, but I've heard some voices downstairs. Voices? Yes. I'm sorry, miss, but there isn't anyone else other than the two of us in this mansion. You're lying. Are you sure? Yes, you're lying. It must have been your imagination, I'm sure. I didn't smoke no weed. I see. You must be right. <laughs> you must be very tired, my girl. Perhaps you should take a rest. I have a few guest rooms in the upper floor, but... Oh, no. What? What's the matter? Button missing on your cardigan. Oh, I'm so sorry. I hadn't noticed it was missing. I'm so sorry, my girl. I must, mustn't have sewed it properly. I'm sorry. I'm the one who lost it. I'm going to get a new button upstairs. Would you like to come with me? I feel safe with you. I feel safe with you. I don't know why. I did not trust you in the beginning of the game, but I feel safe with you. Let's go then. Okay. You know what? This is like the only honest character that I actually like. Whoa. Wait a minute. I thought there were no lights. It's almost time for my nap. I can't wait. Why not just take a nap right now? Oh, no, no, no. My beauty sleep has to be perfect or my leaves will fall off. You really have no common sense now, do you? I'll start the countdown. And one, and a two, and a... <laughs> this place looks really cool. But there were no lights earlier, so why are there lights now? Where do I go? Well, hello there, miss. Long time no see. Get it? Now, now, pumpkin. You should know better and act like a proper adult. Just kidding. What?
Okay, so are the only thing here are pumpkin charms? I guess. I mean, it's a good thing to find these, right? My days of being a comedian are long gone. I have now dedicated myself to the art of meditation. Okay. What door do I go in? Wow, you have 52 charms. Good for you. This bookshelf is filled with old history books. Poems for the Heart, Prose for the Mind by Michael Johan. Another wax record. There's a picture here, too. Damn! Other faces are scratched out. A lot of books and volumes on the shelf here. Hey there, little girl. Would you be interested in a quiz? Get everything right and I might give you a reward. Okay. Choose a subject. Math. What is the solution to this equation? 2x plus 4 equals 10. Three? Here's your reward. Okay, two extra pumpkin charms. Cool. Report of some sort. Okay, I guess I can't read it. There's another door up there, but I'm not going to go in there yet. Candle in the way. I'm going to go in this room. Art room? Blue paint slowly oozes out of the container spreading across the floor. Various utensils lay in the work table seemingly usable. Bottle of wine. Canvas is blank. White canvas. I don't know what that says. Oh, another pumpkin charm. Okay. Go. No, come on. No. Oh, cool. Okay, there's a door here. I choose this door. What the fuck? Ah, damn it. Wait a minute. That just... It brought me all the way back here? Okay, do I go through this door? Okay, where do I go? Open book here. Chapter XL2. Behavior at the table. When the announcement is made that the meal is ready, one must be prompt to attend the summons so that no inconvenience may be occasioned by delay. It's filled with list of rules. This is... Those are not rules. That's a picture. Doll looks familiar somehow. Porcelain vase. Pale doll sits with an expression. I should go with Harpy. Yeah! Where? I went to the door on the left. Went to the door on the right. Harpy's not in sight. You know what? Can I go all the way down here? Okay, I guess I can. Hello? Hi! There you are! Hey! Where are you going? Harpy! Hello? Whoa! Hi!
Hello, Mr. Moon. Okay, Harpy, where'd you go? And it's getting dark again. Hello? All this way to get a fucking button for a shirt? Really? Harpy? <laughs> I apologize, my girl. What the fuck? I seem I have gotten a bit ahead of you. <laughs> oh no, that's alright. I was just wondering where you've gone to. I see. It wasn't my intention to worry you. Harpy, where are we? Tell me, miss. What is it? Do you remember this dresser? Remember? I can't remember a fucking thing. No? I see. Here, take a seat. What the hell? Harpy. Yes? Is this dresser something I should recognize? No, not necessarily. I asked you out of curiosity, nothing else. But if you asked me that, then... Miss? <laughs> yes? It's fine if you don't want me to, but... May I brush your hair? My hair? Yes, it's something I've been wanting to do for a long time now. Yes, <laughs> of course you can. Thank you, my girl. I am deeply grateful. What are all these mirrors for? Peas, pea, peas? I hate peas. Please pass me the pass me the hairbrush. I can read. I swear. That's a neat looking hairbrush. This comb is so fancy, Harpy. Is it really yours? <laughs> yes, it is. It was once given to me as a present from my family. I see. This might sound funny to you, but I feel like I've seen it before somewhere. Perhaps your memories may be coming back. Maybe. Harpy. Yes, what is it, my girl? Please tell me a bit more about myself. I can tell you about what I know. Unfortunately, it isn't much, but I hope it will satisfy you. Please tell us. Who the fuck are we? I mean, sorry. <laughs> Please don't apologize. I understand your need to know, my girl. But you could please hand me the comb first? <laughs> I just gave you a brush. Sit up straight. Place your hands on your lap. Okay. Just like that. We don't want your beautiful long hair to get tangled now, do we? Thank you, Harpy, for combing my hair. There's no need to thank me, my girl. I was the one who asked you if I could in the first place anyway. Yeah. Why are there more mirrors appearing? You are a very sweet individual, miss. Although you may have a few difficulties regarding some circumstances. What do you mean? You need to have more faith in yourself. You have come this far thanks to your own efforts, so it is time to start believing in your capabilities. I guess you're right. You may not think of yourself as such, but you truly are a very diligent person. No one but you knows what hurdles you have surpassed in your journey, as well as your goals, your fears, and even your own strength. Harpy, it is time you start pulling yourself together, my girl. No more hesitating. No more doubts. What is up with these mirrors? Whoa! What is the face for? You must carry out your duty regardless of the means, regardless of the consequences. Harpy, enough running away. It is easy to lose yourself in the path, and even I... <laughs> even I am nothing more than a cruel misunderstanding. Harpy, but you are different. You are more than your mistakes. You are more than your fears. <laughs> Why did your eyes turn red? You are more than your duties. It is time to let go, my girl. You must give in, and you must lose control, and never mind your fears. I will be with you and I will protect you. That is the first thing you said to me when I met you. What's going on? Whoa! <laughs> you are safe with me. <laughs> it's scratched out! Huh? What? Mm-hmm. <laughs>
Bad end number two? What was bad end number one? I'm going to end this episode right here. This has been a really incredible, mysterious journey so far. She apparently knows who we are, but she's hiding secrets. I thought I could trust her. No, okay. This has been episode 7 of Pocket Mirror. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out Astral Shift. Go check out their webpage. Go check out any more of their games. I'm thinking about seeing the rest of this game. This is Thor God of Thunder 815, a.k.a. Thor Wilkins. And I'll see you all in my next episode.